Hello viewers, my name's TVB, and if you remember from a few weeks ago, my sister and I made a video about our top 5 favorite movies of all time. If you haven't seen that, it will be in the description down below. But now, I was thinking, you know, what's my list of top five, of my top favorite movies of all time without a list without, of my top least favorite movies of all time? So this video, I'm going to discuss my top 10 worst movies of all time. Before I get into this list, I do have a few dishonorable mentions. Grown Ups 2, just... Why was a sequel from that movie made? Diary of Wimpy Kid Dog Days. I like the books, I like the first two Diary of Wimpy Kid movies, but Dog Days, whoosh. The Host. Viewers, The Host just... Twilight raped an invasion of body snatchers and they had a baby. Do I really need to say more? And High School Musical. High School Musical. High School Musical. Now viewers, keep in mind, this is just my personal opinion. You might be thinking, why isn't that movie higher up on the list or why is that movie not as high on the list? And also viewers, you might also ask yourself, hold on, where's that movie on this list? And that's probably because I haven't seen it. Like, I haven't seen Jack and Jill, I haven't seen Jiggly, I haven't seen Batman Robin. I haven't seen Battlefield Earth, I haven't seen either Super Babies movies, but without further ado, let's begin. What do I have at number 10? Percy Jackson, The Olympians, The Lightning Thief. Oh my goodness, how do you mess up a book to movie adaptation this bad? This movie does not follow the book at, as, at all. And I love the Percy Jackson books, I read all five of them start to finish. And even if it isn't like a book to movie adaptation, it's still a pretty bad movie. The dialogue is garbage, the acting is garbage. Just overall, the whole movie is just a complete fiasco. But don't worry, viewers. There are nine movies on this list that are worse than Percy Jackson. D don't watch Percy Jackson, though. That's still a bad idea. Just read the books. Number nine, let's talk about another massive disappointment. The Last Airbender. The Last Airbender TV shows, they were my favorite show when I was growing up. And me, as well as loads of other fans, were so excited for this movie. And boy, were we disappointed. The TV shows were a perfect blend between action, comedy, and drama. This movie is just all drama and horrible action. It's bad dialogue, bad acting, just M. Night Shyamalan. Why? Number 8, I don't even want to explain what's wrong with Legend of Hercules, just watch my rant on it. Number 7, nobody thought M. Night Shyamalan could make a movie worse than The Last Airbender. But they were wrong! He made After Earth. I like the premise of After Earth, like what Earth might look like in a couple thousand years from now, now all the animals just really mutated and vicious. And that's the thing with most bad movies, they have potential to be good movies, and just as something goes wrong with the direction, or the acting, or the script, or special effects, blah blah blah, the problem with After Earth, it has M. Night Shyamalan's name written all over it. Are there poorly executed action scenes? Yes. Is it terribly acted? Yes. Is it horribly written? Oh yeah! And I feel really bad for Will Smith, because he really embarrassed his son, Jaden Smith. And there he was at the Academy Awards back in March, presenting the award for Best Picture. And I'm sure he was just thinking to himself, oh god, I was an after-earth. Number six. You suck, 1976 King Kong. And if you want to know why it's the worst remake I've ever seen, just watch my rant on it. Funny, on my top five favorite movies of all time, it was number five was my favorite anime movie of all time, which was The Lion King. And my number 5 on my top 10 worst movies of all time is my least favorite anime movie of all time, The Wild. This Madagascar ripoff centers around a group of zoo animals who's, um, the lion in the group, his son, like, um, escapes from the zoo and he gets shipped off back to the wild. It doesn't even give us a specific location. Obviously, the, his father and all his friends had to go on a quest to get his son back. Sounds good, right? No. The people in this movie obviously have never even been in New York because New York's zoo does not even exist and nothing in this movie makes any sense. The villains in this movie are meat-eating wildebeest, a squirrel falls over a freaking giraffe, and this whole- and just look at the animation. Have you seen any animals in, a, in an anime movie that are uglier than those? Me neither. If you're a little kid who knows nothing about animals, I guess you'll enjoy this movie, but I'm in high school, I've been reading animal books my entire life, so... no. Number 4, a lot of really weird movies came out in the 90s and early 2000s, but this tops the list. Freddy Got Fingered. Just looking at the title, you know this movie is gonna be a disaster. If you've been subscribed to my channel for a while now, you probably know I'm a big fan of just mindless, ridiculous humor. But Freddy Got Fingered isn't like funny mindless ridiculous humor, it's WTF mindless ridiculous humor. And after I watched this movie guys, I was dead silent for 20 minutes. And if a movie makes it go dead silent for 20 minutes, 
That probably means it was a really awesome movie and you just need some time to soak in what you just watched. Or it's a really bad movie. You're just thinking to yourself, oh geez, what the heck did I just watch? Freddy Got Fingered is an all-out attack on your intelligence. And there's all these terrible jokes about disabled and rape and child molestation and people in wheelchairs. And there's a whole movie. It's just a complete disaster. Tom Green, thanks for ruining my evening. Number three, just fuck you, teen romance. Fuck you, vampires. Fuck you, werewolves. Fuck you, Chris Stewart. Fuck you, Stephen Isaacs. Fuck you, Twilight! You have corrupted the minds of all these poor teenage girls, and you've ruined the teen romance genre, and your acting is horrible, your dialogue is horrible, the whole premise of the movie is just complete garbage, and I hate you, Twilight. And the only reason why Twilight is not number one viewer is because I've seen two other movies in my life that just hit me to the core, and it hurt real bad. My second least favorite movie of all time isn't just regarded as one of the worst movies of 2013 along with After Earth, Grown Ups 2, and The Lone Ranger. It's also regarded as one of the worst movies ever made. And that, my friends, is movie 43. Just like how I said that The Lord of the Rings and The Lion King are a few movies I've seen that I can say nothing negative about, I can say nothing positive about movie 43. The whole premise of the movie is just like a bunch of seven skits and all done by some of Hollywood's biggest stars, and none of them maybe even chuckle. But you had to have laughed at the scene where there were balls hanging from Hugh Jackman's neck. No, that scene was just stupid and disturbing. That was literally the entire movie. It's disturbing, it's stupid, it's racist, and it's just a huge disgrace to Hollywood. I feel so bad for everybody who was in this movie. Movie makers, leave all sketch comedy to YouTube, and Peter Farley, Never do this to us again. Number one, this is it guys. My friend has been telling me about how terrible this movie is for years. And I found this thing on DVD, and last night, my friends and I, we popped the molly in the Blu-ray, we sat down, and we sweat through this piece of crud start to finish. And this monstrosity of a movie is Troll 2. The fact that Troll 2 and Troll 1 have no connection at all, and the fact that there's no trolls in this movie is just the icing on the cake. It centers around a family and the daughter's boyfriend and his friends going on vacation to this town called Nilbog, and Nilbog is overrun by all these vegetarian goblins that turn people to plants so they can eat them. And there's it has the worst acting I've ever seen, the worst script I've ever seen, the worst costumes I've ever seen, and this the plot is just Sorry for gagging there, it's just, this movie is laughably terrible at some parts, and this movie is painfully terrible at some parts. A rant on Troll 2 that go on for entire hour viewers, and therefore, it's my number one worst movie of all time. Congratulations. So there you guys have it, my top 10 worst movies of all time. Do you guys agree with me? What are some of your least favorite movies of all time? Comment below, let me know. And if you haven't seen my top 5 favorite movies of all time, don't forget to check that out, that'll be in the description. And yeah, have a nice day. Oh my god!